When it comes to motorbikes on two wheels, the smaller segment of bikes commonly labeled as scooters are not experiencing the growth as they are in other countries. Sales of motor scooters in the United States continue to trend downward. Wait, wait, what? I find this interesting and I wonder why more people don't ride scooters, why I don't see them on the road as much. Revenue for the scooter segment in America in 2023 is projected around $98 million, which is about a million dollars less than 2022, according to Statista. When I read those numbers, it surprised me because I would think with COVID and with fuel prices like continuing to be high, you would obviously see more smaller motorbikes on the road, but they're not and that's why I wanted to do this video kind of to see why is that the case how does the dealio sound to you globally scooter revenue is on the rise with nearly a 10% annual growth rate by 2026 without going down a deep rabbit hole and spending weeks and weeks researching every statistic known to man I want to ask you the viewer some questions leave your comments below and I'm particularly asking some of my subscribers from other countries why do you use your scooter is it simply for transportation or do you have one of these bikes mainly for just personal enjoyment and what's even more interesting to me is how many people in America live paycheck to paycheck while being hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt that's the American way of life and the way of life for a lot of people around the globe. If you're watching this from another country, let me share some stats. Most people in the United States don't own anything outright. They simply owe money for all the stuff they accumulate. Personal debt in America is nearly $15 trillion and each person on average owes $60,000 personal debt. That comes to almost 80% of all American households carry some form of debt. There are about 18 countries that have a higher personal debt ratio. What I find interesting is the countries that have these motor scooters are not on that list. So what does this mean? Countries where people own, not owe, motorbikes use them as their primary transportation and are not borrowing money for them, hence going further in the debt. What it boils down to is simply economics. When populations don't have the luxury of buying things on credit, they simply go without or they have to settle for what they can't afford. Will America ever be a country where the majority of people ride around on scooters? Not unless a complete economic collapse takes place. And none of us want to see that happen. Thankfully, the United States is finally starting to transition into electrical vehicles so we can wean ourselves off oil dependency. It's about time. We've always had the technology and understanding, but the oil industry is a very powerful conglomerate, so there's been no real urgency to convert to electrical power. You would think by now, in the year 2022, we'd be flying around in solar-powered personal spacecrafts like the Jetsons. Man, you're crazy. Way out. Why aren't we? greed perhaps? When money influences how populations live and if you allow people to carry high enough credit limits, naturally they will collect a bunch of material things they could not pay cash for otherwise. If people can ride around in expensive vehicles instead of opting for smaller motorbikes, they will always choose the expensive vehicles, at least the majority of them. This becomes a way of life for many and a lot of people live right on that fine line of losing everything if they lost their jobs or come into some financial hardship. Over half of Americans can't pay a thousand dollar emergency expense. Until people start living within their means, the scooter segment in America will probably stay the same. Most Americans buy these scooters, as I did, more for the enjoyment factor. Let me ask my subscribers from America, how many scooters do you actually see on the roads? I suspect it's a rare sight similar to what I experienced. So leave your comments below and I hope you enjoyed this video.